The efficacy of the herbal drug to combat COVID-19 developed by Afeb Abalola University at Duikiti has been put to test as 19 patients of the dreaded disease have recovered through the usage of the drug. The founder of the university, Are Afe Babalola, said this during a ceremony commemorating the 12th anniversary of the establishment of the university. Afe Babalola said the number of those healed by the herbal drug is increasing by the day since its approval um, a few weeks ago by the National Agency for Food Administration and Control, NAFDAQ. He said, over the years, the research department of the university has been churning out meaningful discoveries aimed at solving the socio-economic problems of the country. And we have Professor Okpemi Bossi Omotuyi, Director of Research at Fair Babalola University at Doikiti, joining us to discuss this. Good evening, Professor. It's happened again. What happened again? Good evening to you. Did I murder your name? I'm sorry. Of course you did. Of course you Forgive did murder me. my name. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me. But let's talk about the good news. Congratulations. This has demonstrated to the world that the solutions to the ravaging COVID-19 may not be far-fetched after all, but could indeed be found by African scientists. Tell us more about your recent success on this herbal drug. How long did it take your team to come up with this? Uh, thank you very much uh, <clears throat> for having me on your TV tonight. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually like a journey of six years. I was uh, at Nagasaki University uh, Therapeutic Innovation Center, where I did my second doctorate in uh, pharmaceutical science. And that was the first uh, experience I had with um, viruses, uh, working with viruses or drug development around viruses. And of course, um, we tried a lot with Ebola. We also tried a lot with Lhasa, coming back to Nigeria 2016. And uh, when uh, 2019 coronavirus disease came, uh, the university assembled a team uh, to look for homegrown solutions to this problem. One of the things that we did very quickly was to start screening plants, you know, uh, of diverse uh, origins, but of, of course of African descent. Um, out of that, we were able to discover two, you know, that had, you know, some kind of potencies and uh, lacking toxicity, you know, those combinations. And of course, uh, the first publication from us was using was Aframomo Meleguata. Maybe you saw that online. Uh, just recently, the um, five universities in the United States came together to uh, find out if that was actually true. And what they discovered was very mild. And you could probably see that online now that the artery from yeah, you know Yoruba Aframomo Meleguata was not just capable of taking care of SARS-CoV-2 uh, in, in cell culture, but also SARS-CoV-1. And of course, what we now have with this current discovery is even more potent that what, than what we had with Atari, that is uh, Aframomo Milligreta. And I will quickly tell you the biomedical research you know, that's supporting our claim. Number one, uh, with the ability to stop uh, ROBD and H2 interaction, ROBD is the component of SARS-CoV-2 responsible for attaching to host cell. And if it you know, finds a way to do that, uh, it also has the capacity to inhibit another protein called furin that is actually required to process the entry into the virus. And if it does succeed at entering into the virus, uh, one of the components of our drug has the capacity to stop what is called the main protease, is the most important enzyme uh, required to, uh, for maturation and packaging of uh, the virus within the cell. And if eventually all the three fails and the virus is you know, able to elicit some kind of hyperinflammatory inflammatory responses, we also have the component of that herbal therapy capable of downing the hyperinflammatory inflammatory responses. So when we piece all this four together, we are able to look at the efficacy of our drug against multi-stage uh, 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 steps in the pathogenesis of SARS-CoV-2 and COVID-19. And that is the reason why we are very successful at uh, using this to uh, treat uh, people. We who understand have that it has been approved by NAVDAC. What hospital were it the has trials been listed. done? Has, it has been approved I, by NAVDAC, right? It has been listed by NAVDAC. That's correct. So we have a number for it now, yes. Okay. So what, what hospital were the trials done? Well, uh, right now, we, I, I have to also you know, give you some kind of background around that. Number one, I think about Hospital is probably one of the best hospitals in Nigeria today. 
So that's one of the uh, centers that um, uh, we have quickly tried that out. But of course, uh, that is like uh, being the judge in our own case. That is not good enough. So right now, we are already with what is called Nigerian Institute for Medical Research in Lagos. I'm actually in Lagos right now for that meeting this afternoon. We are going into a partnership with NIMA. NIMA has, you know, uh, statutory responsibility to test drugs out on behalf of the government. And of course, we want them to validate what we have done. And, uh, so, sorry, what we have said uh, about our claims. And I think once their results come out, it's going to further strengthen our position in taking virus into the world and saying Nigeria has a solution to COVID-19 at this time. And do not forget, there is nothing that Oxford University in the UK has done that Harvard is not doing right now, finding solutions. And that's exactly what the university should be doing. That's exactly what we are doing. Thank you. Uh, we hear that Abwad Habel, uh, how do you call it? Viridicidine. Virusidine. Virusidine. Oh, virusidine, like virusidine. Okay. Virusidine. Okay, that is an immune booster and antioxidant for coronavirus and other viral infections, which can also be used as anti-inflammatory agent. What other infections can it cure? Well, um, one of the things that we like to do as scientists is not to make a claim of 200 uh, diseases that uh, a particular um, you know, uh, solution can cure. We never try to make that kind of mistake. We want to stay focused on the kind of re uh, research that we have done and what we have. Because of the um, phytochemical components or the chemical components of this um, uh, preparation, it could do, you know, work as an antioxidant, it could boost the immune system, it could have an anti-inflammatory property. But key to COVID-19 are the four things I've told you about. Number one, ability to inhibit RBDs2, that is to say an entry inhibitor for the virus. Number two, ability to inhibit furin, which will not allow the attached, you know, virus to access the cell. Number three, if the virus eventually accesses the cell, ability to stop it from trying to uh, process its protein and becoming new virons. And number four, if the three fail, the last step is that it, do, it does not allow the virus to elicit immune, res I mean, immune hyperinflammatory response. And that simply means that if you are taking a virus, for instance, you should not have very severe form of um, uh, well, what is it called now, COVID-19, that would require ICU hospitalization. That's not going to happen. So that is the claim we have that we have primary data for, and that's exactly where we are going to be stopping at this time. But of course, if we do clinical trials and we have other observations, we are going to pursue that using, you know, instrumentality of biomedical science. And you have to understand, Africa Valley University is very well grounded in research and we also have facilities to explore any part that we wish to explore, depending on what kind of observations we get from clinical trials. Okay, so Thank you. Nigerians can't wait for the outcome of this meeting that you've come to Lagos for, to know how soon it will be available to uh, Nigerians and indeed the world. I have to tell you very specifically, Professor Sarako at Naima and his team has probably some of the best Nigerians I've seen. The meeting was about five hours today and it was very productive. They are eager. They want to test things out. They want to do what I'm going to read, uh, what I'm going to read about, like they want to do their own to be sure that what these people are saying is correct. They have seen our data, they like it, and they are enthusiastic about doing it because they want to do it for the world. Nothing can be wrong that solutions to this problem came from Africa. Nothing, especially in Nigeria. And of course, let me tell you, when we say problem solving from Nigeria perspective, all of us studied abroad. So it is actually... We got the knowledge, we came here, we use it, then we take it back. All it's right. Fine. Well, time will not permit us to continue with this, but thank you so much for your time. And you have to introduce yourself as we close this interview. Your name, please. Yeah. Yes, my name is um, Professor Ola Omoti. I have a PhD in biochemistry, PhD in pharmaceutical science from Nagasaki University. I am the director, Institute for Drug Research and Development at Afrika Valley University, uh, Adwikiti. And you should show visit very soon. Thank you. I will. And thank God I didn't have to murder your name, which is why I, tell, I told you to um, introduce yourself. Well, thank you so thank much you. for your time. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.